Five man garage. A few moments later. Yeah, yeah, kill this guy. He's gonna run. 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 He's trying to rush. He's trying to rush. He's trying to rush. Okay, there. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, fam. Go up garage. Window, window, window. Everyone up window. Up, up window. Up window. I don't have a blind left. Alright, right, uh, go mid, go mid, go mid, out, 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 fight garage, fight, 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 out, 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 out. Your toast, I see that you're having a hard time. It must be hard being an IGL. I wouldn't know though, because I'm the Valorant locking champion, baby, and I'm here to help. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to show you the best util possible for each agent when it comes to exec in C. Kind of similar to what we do here, Pancada is dipping out of that site. Now I want to make sure that you're ready and you have at least one strat for when this Valorant Clash thing comes out or for your five stack. So let's get into it. First thing I want to quickly cover is keybind. So controls, actions, and then for the secondary version of jump, I have it as full stop or period. And then you go to equipment and then you change your secondary fire to slash. And then what you want to do is press them like boom, boom, like that. Beautiful. All right, Astra, at the start, you're going to be walking up with your duelist, ready to trade them just in case enemies are close. If they're not close, you're going to do this three-star setup. Um, the third star is optional, but I always like to do it in the CT spawn to stop enemy teammates from kind of running in. And also, depending on what other agents you have, it might combo quite nicely with nanos and other pieces of util. You can put the star further out. However, if you decide not to use the suck, for instance, the recon's pinged and no one's on the site, then you've just got a star in the middle of nowhere and you have to take it back because it's not going to be helpful. Obscure That's why I like doing them two on top of each other, just so I can use it for a third smoke potentially later on in afterplants. Now here, um, just in case you don't have a lot of util going onto the site, you can do these for optional stars. This Pulling one will be suck. i say that one would be a stun. Or a, to be fair, I don't like the flat one. This one is definitely Blasting a stun. Um, and then the close one, I'd say, is a suck or stun. Let's say we got the bomb down now and we're kind of playing after plant. Um, one option is you can play close to this star. Uh, and then when you think it. the timing's right, you activate the smoke, play inside of it. Or... Um, you can simply actually just play outside of it as well and just be careful of the breach flushes or any other flushes uh, You can be really ratty around the smoke or if you have one more spare star your suck will probably come in time in, Depending on how long it takes for the enemies to reach So you can just use the suck for the after plan and uh, suck them off the bomb. All right breach mains I didn't show this but you should be ready to flush the close wall as breach here um, Just in case the enemies rush you if not, then you'll do this flash, which forces the jet off on top of Psy, and also just flashes anyone kind of close as well. And it just makes it so they can't face you as you're running up this Blinding. little narrow corridor. Next up, you want to B-hop, and then do this stun. Forever. This is probably the best stun you can do. Then you can have an option of this Kaboom, out. or the Garage, Blasting. which kind of stops them from running out of Garage. Here. All right, so let me show you the flash full round. So you do the flash, a little boo hop here, the stun into a kaboom. Clearing out. You can tell I'm not a breach main right now. Uh, and then for the second flash Blinding. here, and then oh, I almost kaboom there. Flash the out. Flash. As for post plant, you kind of want to be playing this angle, and you have good stun line options here, based off like what your teammates Blasting. have contact off. You have a nice kaboom if you do end up saving it. As for flashes, you can probably do this Blinding. one. Uh, which might get your teammate back sight, uh, or potentially I was kind of messing around with this one, but I don't think careful it's a swing, so just be careful there. Brimstone, Xenio, yeah, Brimstone. Stim beacon Zenio. here. You just kind of spot with the the duelist, you trade down. them, Stim beacon out, and bloom and send it. As for after plants, uh, you have two options. I think the Molly is the best molly. option, so learn a Molly lineup. I think I actually have a guide that shows a Molly lineup, but I can't remember. Um, if not, then you can play Launching kind of close smoke. to the smoke and CT spawn, re-smoke, play close, and then just molly the CT spawn on timing. For Cypher, you have an option of using this camera um, or uh, this camera. Now, I actually don't recommend doing either camera because I think it might give it away. I think you're better off just kind of facing with your teammates dry, trading them, and then just running up. Now, I was trying to think like what possible cage you can do. This is just one option. Just be careful of this close left angle. Um, it still has a gap for your teammates to run through. However, I think, honestly, you can just run out dry. Um, you've got, hopefully you've got other utils coming out. And then I'd say this trip is pretty good. It always gets quite high value whenever I play ranked. Uh, put it with a cage. I'd say this camera is the best camera because it sees both entrances. Then also, if you wanted to try a different trip, maybe this one. I was kind of playing around with this one. I don't know how good it is. I guess you'd need a cage for it, so that would be the cage. Uh, then you can kind of swing. Cage triggered. And, uh, shoot people that are hit by the trip. 
but they might spam through the cage. So I'm not sure how good this one is, but I know the garage one is good. All right, Fade, you have two options here. You trade with your controller and duelist, and then you instantly do this jump Where throw. I use it mouse wheel and click. You can also do space bar and click. The other option is no one peeks. Bring them you down. just send that dog, and then instantly pull out I'll the recon you. and do that flash. Uh, flash? Recon, my bad. Uh, so I think this recon is the best recon because it clears this close green angle and it also means that back sight can't kill it. So it means that no one's front sight and Where are can kind of run out through the smoke safely. And also it stops that garage guy running through the smoke as well. Yeah, and that garage guy is kind of annoying. So this is how it's going to look. I'll find you. Recon. You have an optional blob here because I actually don't know where else you can throw it. You can maybe use it now. Take but hold. I think back there is really good. So if the enemy where smokes close, I honestly think you Bring should them down. into it. You know, I think dog is the best way to clear out those rats in the smokes. And it just means that uh, if he is there, he's going to get dogged and then you kill him. You can also fade blob we'll deep catch here. Them. Um, it might actually catch someone trying to escape and you can get him. Uh, for after plants, I think you play around here. I'll find you. This recon, I actually don't like that recon. Where Do this are recon. You? I think this recon's okay. Or maybe, potentially, I'm thinking maybe something like deep here. I'll like, find as you. As they're running in, you just throw that. They have to turn around to break it. And it's just really awkward for them. Um, but I think the best thing you can do is just play off your teammates. Or Where you can are come you? back here. Do a recon like that when they tap the bomb and try and kill them. You can be like the last survivor. Oh my goodness, bro, this got gecko lineups. So what you do, go to this wooden beam, and then you aim at this tree branch here. Um, or Saw you, Mush! It needs a leaf, doesn't it? Um, and then that will land into CT spawn. Um, it could catch rotations, and it could also stop the person rotating. This is your next one. So you want to put your kind of white line on that dot, and then you want to jump though. Uh, hopefully you won't Mush have to pit. do this one, because I think this is the least impactful one. But it, if you do need it, I think you should do it. Um, this one gets close garage like that. The last one, you want to be careful with the push. So you get into this little corner. Then you line up Mr. Dizzy onto this wooden beam. And I think this one's my favorite one. Blow him up, Mush. And jump throw. And this one lands back sight. It's either the back sight or the CT one I think is the best. But I think enemies are going to panic if they see this. All right, listen up, wingman. You're going to be planting here. This is the best plant. So off you go. As for Dizzy, planting. you want to kind of get to that here. Aim Dizzy's at that tree. Top. Jump throw. Uh, if you run too far, it will land behind the green and you won't be able to Back pick to it me. up safely. Here you can actually pick it up. Spike you can have both Santa, Santa. Man and Dizzy for the afterplant. And with this afterplant, you have an option of lurking garage. It's not as good as if I was planting it, but it's still okay. Um, as for afterplant, you want to play kind of default and Up just go. do a flash when they're coming in. You know, that flash will probably get some kills. Run, this little, little man. man, as they're running up as well, would just be annoying. Especially with all the other stuff happening. I think those are the best options. You could probably be here as well. Um, and this one also Careful gets the backslide as they're coming in as well. I don't know if it gets garage though. Run. Anyway, harbour. Alright, so I was contemplating, Wait, does crashing. this harbour wall help? And I come to the conclusion it doesn't. It allows the enemies to spam through it. And then you've just got a giant wall that actually helps the enemies uh, run around backside. So all you need to do for harbour is do this wall. And then you have two cascades and you have your orb potentially. Unless you use your orb here to plant. Out. And this is how you do the best plant. So you plant here and then you turn around and you face sea long. And that plant you can see from Gary. Then for after plants, I think you just spam the wall here. I don't know what the enemies are going to do. I was kind of testing rising. this sort of style of wall. Um, I don't think it's good, but it does have this cool little gap, which I think the enemies will flood walls through up. and you can kill them. But yeah, I think you should just layer your walls. When one's about to go down, you put the other Locking one up. Fire. You put the orb up as a finisher and you just play inside the orb. Hello, jet mains. All right, what you're going to do, you have three options here, I think. You do one smoke here for plat. And then you have to have dash uh, and glide. I don't have my spacebar bound, so I can't glide. So pretend I'm up there. Oh, how did I do that? And then what you do is you push out the smoke, Locking hopefully sight. with a flash. The next one is dashing front sight, very generic. You swing green. This is actually what Durka did in the video. And then the last one is a updraft dash glide onto the top of the box. Um, my favorites are probably the default one. Uh, if there's a cypher trip, just kind of do that sort of style where you go over the trips. And then you kind of want to wrap right hand side of sight. Um, generally, I think it's the best path things for you. I did try like what if you go through this smoke, 
But there's a crossfire. It's really awkward. Uh, just in case the enemy does smoke there. So I think wrapping right side is the best. I forgot to record this, but I think the best after plant position is probably back site. And if not back site, then just play on site and hope that one of your initiators still has a flash or, or something. Or you can play close to CT spawn as well. So good luck. All right, so Kaze, you kind of play like Breach. So you're ready to trade. Flash. If there's no one pushing, then you do this flash, which lands about here. Um, and then you'll probably do this knife. If you aim here, the lower the better. Uh, it goes further on the ground level. And then for the second flash, I think here, if you have a jet dashing in, um, I think this is probably the best one. If not, uh, I'd say you flash. can just do this one, but this one's hard. Like, flash. I actually did fail it, as you see here. So I don't really like this one, but I think, honestly, the best one might be a right click top flash. Unless you know it's clear, then you can kind of molly instead CT spawn, and then you can use Grenade. a flash from maybe backside. Flashbang! This is just pretending to like flash through a smoke. Flash. You can also save your flash to be fair. That way you can have it like after plant, so you can like flash back side for the jet, or uh, do a little pop flash for yourself. Flashbang! Garage. Flashbang! Maybe one off this box, but that also gets CT spawn, so maybe that's alright. Killjoy Lambo, I'd say place it around here because then it gets a little bit out. more flank coverage and for the mollies it's similar to the gecko ones so you go up to this wooden beam aim at this branch and it's placing a swarm throw. grenade um, and that will land in CT spawn uh, if you have watched the gecko ones swarm grenade out. it's a nice one and then the next one is you aim at this little dot and you put the white line on the dot as you can see here placing swarm grenade and it's a jump throw again um, and this one is pretty good as well. Uh, stop the garage out. run out. Also stops them from playing that close bit. If you Placing wanted to molly play, it'd be something like this. Um, on the fly. Out. Um, so yeah, so you have that just in case. Placing as for after plant, I think turret here and playing here. You just played a kill em all, baby. Alright, Neon, jump spot, this way. run up, Watch out. stun, I'm here. this is one option, this is my least liked option, I don't like this, I think the wall actually helps the enemies more than us, because it means that they can run go, out go, go. so I think the Shock best thing it. is to stun here, you use your slide here if you want, or you can just run this out, way. you can option a wall here, stun, and then like slide through here, run through here, when he, if they are stuck back, Watch out. Uh, option to stun here, and then swing right side as well, like, you have options. I uh, was like testing around a few walls for back sight Let's here. Go. Just think they ain't great. They just help the enemy team get on the Let's side. Play. So just keep your gun out and try and kill them. Alright, Omen, jump spot. And then you instantly smoke. Shadows and while you're traveling. B hopping, you go into the next Shadows smoke. And then you have two flushes. Either this one, but I don't think you should use Blinding. this one. I think the go to one. Uh, you use that one if there's a breach on your team. You Blinding. use this one if there's not a breach on your team. Okay? I think that's the way to do it. TP. If there's jet smokes, try and TP into them. Like if jet dash is up there, uh, you TP into it. If jet dash is onto front side, you TP into it. And that's cover going cover, out. Uh, from anyone that could be in the garage. After plan, I think you play on this box. Find timing to put the smoke down. And then you just sit here as they're coming back in. I was thinking maybe up here, but then I was like, this is probably the troll. You could definitely Careful. They can see your feet. So I was just like, no. So I think either on the box or probably close here. And I like to use this smoke. Shadows and then traveling. Kind of pop into it when I think they're coming in. Um, other than that, you could probably play green or see long. All right, Phoenix mains. Jump spot after walking close. If it's clear, I think you can get away with this little walk. Careful now. And that clears close right. Hopefully, you won't have to use it. Um, hopefully, like you have a killjoy or anyone that can clear that close angle. Watch your so, eyes. Then just do this little flash. Um, Watch I out. think you shouldn't use your wall to get out. I think it helps the enemy team. What you can do once you're out is probably flash. do this flash to swing round with. I was testing out flash. using the wall here and then like flashing through it. Flash. Um, I don't know how good Watch it is. Careful now. Maybe you can test it for me. Now. After plant positions, I think like playing close careful is going to be handy unless you have someone really playing close. You can make some nice plays with that. Um, just generally playing around with the two that you have left. If you have a Molly now. getting in the CT choke Flash. when they're running in, it's super good. I'm just kind of going aggressive mode, but you don't. You can play passive too. Alright, Rage, you want to walk, jump spot close. Oh, what was that jump spot? Then I think the best nade you can do Caution is here. a little uh, walk throw here, and that will land like nice and tasty backside. Um, aiming at that bit on the roof. And I think Satchel double up. satcheling in, you can swing right. Maybe you'll catch someone there, like with the breach stun or something. Up. Or Satchel you can up. just not do those satchels, but just satchel here to front side. Satchel out. Um, you can do this one. It's not bad, actually. Um, if you have a jet as well on your team, that jet dashes in. Here I was just kind of testing uh, a plat nade or something like that. Satchel out. And then you just kind of satchel, satchel out. in. Uh, for boom bots, I was actually thinking that a boom bot here could be quite good. 
It clears all the backside and it, it just gives you something to peek with. Raina. Honestly, I think I really like Feeling these double sight. flushes. Um, there's not much to talk about Raina. Uh, if you only want to use one flush, then I'd say you do that. And then if you want to use another one, Feeling do sight. that. Um, if you can get away Careful with not here. using like both flushes, then when they actually come in, it could be good to just throw it and then they Cutting just get really blinded. I think this peek is not that great. But generally, you want to play positions where you can get a kill and E out and then to safety. Um, really nerdy, ratty spots. Uh, it's not my style of gameplay. Uh, I'm not good enough for this, but good luck. All right, so Sage, you want to get into this corner and aim at this leaf, and that would be a CT slow. Just be careful when you go into the corner. Make sure your jump spotters have cleared the long push and then throw your slow. Um, these are optional run-up slows as well. Any of these slows will be okay. Um, you have also the option of saving your slows, depending on how good your team comp is for clearing the seaside. This wall, I'd say, is good because you can hide behind the block, and I think this wall is good as well. If you do the one that goes sideways, then I think they'll just break them all, whereas this one, I don't think they'll break that block so you can hide behind it. Or you can do the fanatic one, the famous fanatic one. Uh, it allows them to funnel out and you kill them all. Uh, or get team flushed. All right, next up, Time Sky. We got the goal. Um, this is optional. Though. Like every other comp has just been kind of contacting up and running up. Uh, if you don't end up using a dog, this is the Sky Flash. Um, I think you can get a bit more to the left, and then you can go into the dog from here, and that way the dog actually clears deep into the site. Uh, it clears all the back site. So you might get a stun. Then I was just testing like different flashes. If they smoke Hawk here, you can just pop flush through. It's maybe not too bad. Or you can just do the usual flash around the left hand side. Um, however, if there's a jet dashing in, then you can flash for the jet. Oh, my bad, I missed the flush. Um, here in after plants, I think this flush is the best. And if you just play around here, you can do the best support for your teammates. Oh my goodness, around the world flush. Oh, I've missed it. Okay, so there's a pretty sexy slow recon you can do from here. But you think I'm going to be showing my enemies that? Nope. But what you would do is the recon drone. and then you drone. And the recon will be flying in at the same time as the drone. Um, it's, it's pretty decent. If not, then you can just get yourself into this position here. Just be careful to push, so don't be showing your bum to the enemies before they come. Crouch, and then aim at the top of this. Uh, and then obviously, if as long as it lands on the top corner of that roof, it's good. It gets everything. Scanning ahead. So here's it in full run. Now, if you're against ciphers, maybe these shocks will be handy, uh, just for when your jet could be entering in. Um, there's an option to Take drone flight. here, but I actually don't think it's very good. I actually think the drone is better in after plant. For instance, like you got the bomb down, you're Deploying gonna be playing drone. around here because you're the support player, and you can just drone here and try and get a ping. And the enemy, whoever gets ping, probably won't run Scanning into their teammates. Ahead. And then you can just do this recon when the retake is happening, um, or you can Scanning just fall ahead. back to long in a one v one. They haven't got smoke. You just do that and like peek with it or jump spot with it. There's also an option to just do the user recon as well. All right, we're on the final two agents. I know this because it's Viper. Um, so what you want to do is go into the dent into the wall and then you aim about here and you just jump throw. And this is like an orb for CT. It's not the best one, but at this point I was kind of uh, getting admitted. too excited that I'd almost done every agent for the CXX. Now for the spit for garage, what you do is you put the right edge of the white line on the left hand side of that leaf. Um, Hopefully you won't have to use this molly because you've got like a breach, omen, killjoy who can do a much easier molly for this. You can find your own lineup, but um, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, next one is the white line on the right hand side again. And this one's for CT. Uh, you just put it in that little wooden beam section. And this one lands to CT and it's so good because anyone running in will get double damage and anyone running out will get double damaged. And they would be absolutely pooping their pants. For after plants, I think you can kind of play close. And then like when or you think they're running in, just shoot your spit. And then just put your orb up when the spit's about to run out. And you're just completely delaying them. Alright, so for Yoru, get yourself onto this black dot here on the floor. And then I think for your TP, you want to put it here. Um, as through. for the flash, you kind of want to make an A between these two wooden beams. Like that with your left line. Now just make sure you only do this flash when you have a sober. Because when the recon lands there, uh, the flash will blind them so they can't break it. And then you'll just get three pings off. Time to um, jump. As for if you don't have a sober, I think yeah. this flash is okay. If you don't have a breach or KO because they're already flashing that. Um, 
I was trying to think like what you could do. You could do this flash with the TP backside, but I think it's kind of rubbish. I honestly think just TP front Time side, and I think the flash here is optional, depending on if you have Omen or Brute. And what you do is you just clear close front side, and then these are ways that you can try and take the backside. So if it's smoked up, you can decoy through it. Maybe they'll break it. You can flash through the smoke potentially, like that. Um, you can also decoy. decoy around here, and hopefully they break it from CT spawn. Then if you don't want to use your clone, what you can do is clear close angles like this, and then just do a yeah. flash to peek with, and then get into your backside spot quick. Now from backside, when the enemies are running in, you can use this clone and peek with it when it pops. Here's a good flash actually, I think this flash is yeah. bang. If someone swings from right side sight as well with it, uh, I think it will own. Uh, and then through. also, oh, what you can do, you can put your TP there, yeah. go for the little flash play, try and kill yeah. someone, TP out, and you're playing post plant. Beautiful. Oh, cookie. I won't lie, you could probably run this strat 12 times in a row and maybe win 50% plus of the round. So go for it. Get that free elo. GG easy win. And thank you for watching. If you can't find five people to stack with, that's unlucky. But don't worry, you're probably a nice person. Or you could be a beep. But like, I'm not to judge. So much love. Good luck. I hope you find a five stack. All the best. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment if you want some of this la 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 lovely content.